video frames must be placed on surface GUIs, at least for now. So I'll create a small display for it. I'll name it display and I'll add a surface GUI. If you aren't sure it's on the right surface or not, just add a text label and make it full size. Mine is already on the right side. At least for now, you need to drag video frames from toolbox to your game. You can enable it like this. You can either pick from there, or pick from the videos you own. I'll pick from the videos I own, drag it to inside, and you'll have it in Explorer. You need to put it in a surface GUI and it will cover up all of the surface. Just like this. If you scale this part, video will be scaled too. So you shall keep the aspect ratio of part size same with video's aspect ratio. Looking at properties, if we tick playing, and play the game, we will see that it's playing. Videos load from client, so it won't start playing, until you load the game. You will probably play it with a script anyways. Here it is. It even has a sound, but you can't hear it in the video. When you add it to a game, you will hear the sound. It also has loop, volume and some other properties. Our video is looping now. As I said before, videos are being played on client itself, so you can stop the video like this. Other clients won't be affected with this, means that it won't replicate. You can change video's time position with changing this value. However it doesn't update while video is playing. I hope that gets fixed soon. Also a client can only play two videos at once because of performance concerns. This is a new feature by the time this video was released, and if anything in this video changes, I'll put them in description so make sure to read it. That was it for this video. Hope you understood, see you in another one.